we all know here on this show, I like to find free things. Now, as we all know on this show, I love to find free things to do, and particularly share them with you. But when it becomes sort of, you know, hundreds of year old traditions, you do come away thinking to yourself, is there anything now literally for free? Remember that song, the best things in life are free? Well, it appears not. If you now come over to London, of course, there's still many places, as I pointed out with things like the Central Methodist Hall, where you can go and get free organ concerts literally for an hour a day, and there is very reasonably priced refreshments but more importantly on a serious note in this cost of living crisis it's quite good to go and sit in somewhere for an hour two hours and literally get warm through and a drink and some entertainment whether you like that or not of course if you're looking for outside entertainment well that now looks under threat also as ever let me explain Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you as ever. And thank you so much for joining me today. This is just a quick one. And I really want your opinion on this because I'm sure it's the same as I often say here on the show in your part of the world. You see, when you go out and about, I like seeing buskers. You know, I do. I think they're very talented. Some of them, of course, it's their only opportunity to, uh, you know, start performing. And when you look at where it can lead, seeing this superstar singer, Ed Sheeran, he started out busking in his own town. And then the bottom line was, look where he's ended up now. Multi-millionaire, global superstar. Doesn't happen to everybody, I know. But what you have to look at is, it's an opportunity to gain audience experience. Takes a lot of guts, you know, to get up and bus because really you're at the mercy of the public. And the cap, the pass around cap, is the thing that really says whether the public have enjoyed you or not. Now, what's getting interesting is this, because in the very heart of London, the beautiful historical site of Covent Garden, for over 400 years, there have been buskers, entertainers, jesters, court jesters, you know, magicians, acrobats, all of that sort of stuff. And predominantly, as you can see, it's for free. Well, not always, you see. Now, what's happened is Westminster Council apparently have taken it over to a public vote because a couple of years ago, they did start to charge for certain sites, the more predominant ones, you know, the ones where most of the audience would pass through. But it appears that a lot of people, given the fact that now there's less work there and more residential people, a lot of people do not like the sound of buskers all day and into the night. You see, this is what happens with the decline of, say, the footfall, the shopping, the high street, that sort of stuff. So now Westminster Council are basically saying how many sites should there be, what time should there be, and so should there really be a charge. Now, I don't know about you, as I say, I feel really on the side of the buskers because it's not an easy task. And some are professional, some have been there for many years, some is in fact their you know, full-time living. But what do you think? Do you have this in your part of the world? Do you relish the idea of a busker? Or indeed, do you think, oh, as you walk past, not again, the same old song, the same old act. Either way, it looks like this particular tradition, which, as I say, started out in Westminster over 400 years ago, could either be wiped out through residential annoyance or indeed wiped out through costs, starting at around £20 a pitch, which doesn't seem a lot, but times five is a lot of money to make five days a week before you make a profit. Either way, they've got the other battle, of course. People are now carrying less cash and they've got to get themselves a swipe card machine as well if they're going to make any living at all. Do let me know what you think as ever in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.